Well, new at six, Governor Larry Hogan reacts after the state house overrides his veto of a massive spending bill for Maryland schools. And WJZ is live right now. Rachel Menatov has reaction from school leaders and explains what still needs to now happen in the Senate. Rachel. Denise, that's right. This week, the House voted to override the governor's veto of the controversial Kerwin Commission. It's policy that's been in the works for at least the last four years, and supporters we spoke with today say this is a positive step forward. The Maryland House of Delegates voted overwhelmingly to override Governor Hogan's veto of a comprehensive K-12 education measure that would boost school funding by billions over a decade. Shamoya Gardner is the deputy director of Strong Schools Maryland, an organization that's been advocating in favor of the Kerwin Commission. We're excited for what this means for students and school communities across the state, but it's been a long time coming and we have a lot of work left to do now. It recommends expanding early childhood education, increasing teacher salaries, providing funding for schools with high concentrations of poverty, and also outlines college and career readiness programs. Almost a year ago, the bill passed, but Governor Hogan vetoed it, citing economic fallout from the coronavirus pandemic, and he's standing by that decision. In a statement, he says the plan will cost at least $6,200 in tax hikes and adds that during the global pandemic, the last thing Marylanders need is higher taxes. But supporters say this blueprint is an investment in systemically underfunded schools and in no way will harm the state's economy. What are some of your expectations moving forward? Obviously, this now has to go through the Senate. Yes, so we are optimistic that the Senate is very, very soon going to follow suit um, and override the veto. We've got implementation to focus on and, and a whole lot of accountability to look forward to. And the Senate could call a vote as early as this week. If it does decide to override the veto, then the bill's policies will go into effect in the next 30 days. We're live in Baltimore tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.